Welcome to another special episode of Discover Pasadena, Pasadena Cares. I'm your host, Erin Webb. We are going to continue on our mission to deliver our community the positive stories that come out of Pasadena during the COVID-19 crisis. If we've discovered anything over the past few weeks, it's that Pasadena truly is a city built of people who care for one another and will do anything in their power to ensure that their family, friends, neighbors, and even complete strangers are taken care of. Today, we are going to continue to share some stories with you of love, compassion, and giving from some of our community businesses and people. Later on in the episode, you'll hear from Julianne Echevarria, our Pasadena Chamber Events and Programs Coordinator, who will tell you more about our Pasadena Community Relief effort that we started a few weeks ago to match organizations with people and businesses who want to help them in their time of need. Today, we're going to start off with some of our very own local heroes, our healthcare workers. Our community has truly come together to show our healthcare workers how much we love and appreciate them. I recently had a conversation with Gina Bamberg, who is the CEO of HCA Houston Healthcare Southeast, and she shared with me a few of the ways that uh, they're doing so. Ford Motor Company has halted vehicle production and is able to make one face shield every 10 seconds to send to hospitals across the U.S. HCA feels very blessed to be among the recipients of those face shields. On the same note, one of the ER nurses at HCA connected with Reach Wireline, an oil-filled company who has quickly repurposed itself into making intubation boxes for healthcare workers. The REACH team heard of HCA's needs and quickly assembled and drove 10 boxes from Jacksboro, Texas, arriving at 1 a.m. to an eager ER crowd. Silver Sycamore has been allowing patrons to sponsor casseroles for healthcare workers, and HCA has received a dozen so far. Each casserole has a personalized note from the person or company who sent it. Mosaic Learning Partnership, a homeschool organization, made HCA headbands with buttons so they could hook their masks to them so as to not irritate their skin so much from wearing masks all day, every day. HCA Houston Healthcare Southeast ended last Friday night, Good Friday, with a visit from KSBJ Radio Station and Fellowship Houston Church, who hosted a night of prayer for the staff at HCA. Over 75 cars showed up on the evening of Good Friday to pray over the hospital staff. I was also able to speak with Stephen Foster and Lila Foss at CHI St. Luke's Health Patients Medical Center, and they were equally able to share stories of love and compassion with me. Chick-fil-A wanted to make sure their clinical staff remained fed during these hard times, so they've donated meals five times already. Other businesses like Domino's Pizza donated 60 pizzas, Donatella donated 100 meals, Starbucks Coffee donated coffee, pastries, and handwritten notes, and Papa Yolk's Grill and the owner's family donated 100 meals as well. All of these businesses wanted to show their appreciation for CHI's heroic efforts, taking care of patients during the COVID-19 crisis. Gateway Community Church and Parkgate Community Church initiated Love Notes Ministry, where they encourage people to drop off cards at their church for doctors, nurses, first responders, and nursing home residents. The Pasadena Chamber serves as the drop-off point for these cards, where we then transport them to the receivers. CHI St. Luke's Patients Medical Center received a big batch of these cards for their health care workers this week. CHI also wanted to give a huge thank you to San Jacinto College, who have joined efforts with some of their partners in education to provide much needed PPE for frontline health care workers. CHI St. Luke's Health Patients Medical Center received a large shipment of these face shield brackets, which are being printed with a 3D printer at San Jack for their hospital here in Pasadena. Another huge thank you to Dr. Brenda Hellyer and her team over at San Jack for their innovative thinking and collaborative efforts and for all of the other organizations who are benefiting from these face shield masks from San Jacinto College. I also got the chance to catch up with some of the leaders over at Pasadena ISD as well as Pasadena ISD Education Foundation and there are some amazing things happening over there for our students. Pasadena ISD is continuing to serve breakfast and lunch to students several days per week. 
To date, they have served over 300,000 meals. Pasadena ISD is so proud of their child nutrition department for their tireless dedication to assure their students continue to get fed during this crisis. ABC Dental donated much needed personal protective equipment to Pasadena ISD nutrition workers as they are preparing and serving the students. Gulf Coast Educators Federal Credit Union along with TDECU donated hundreds of tote bags used to distribute distance learning materials to parents and students of PISD. When the Pasadena ISD Education Foundation saw that the COVID-19 pandemic brought forth extraordinary needs for the school district, it was compelled to help in extraordinary ways to assist students and teachers during this time of crisis. The Education Foundation recently voted unanimously to donate $200,000 to support the district's distance learning program during this coronavirus pandemic. Some of our other Pasadena Chamber members have really stepped up to support and encourage other members of our community. Here are some of those unique ways that they're doing so. Texas Roadhouse has been busy these past few weeks with their initiative, Service with a Heart, Six Feet Apart. They have already fed HCA Houston Healthcare Southeast, CHI St. Luke's Patients Medical Center, Pasadena Police Department, City of Pasadena, Sarah's House, and Pasadena ISD. Over at Taco Cabana, they served breakfast to 400 people on the front lines at COVID-19 testing sites and case monitoring offices for Harris County Public Health. Ice Express donated and dropped off two coolers for Sarah's house so they could store items donated to them for the food bank. Thank you to the Pasadena Livestock Show and Rodeo for coordinating the donation efforts. Our friend and regular chamber auctioneer, Bear A. Bear, donated many items that Sarah's house was in need of to help them renovate some unused sections of their facility. Home Two Suites Hilton Houston Pasadena went on a mission to spread the light and warmth of hospitality. On Good Friday, they lit up the windows in their hotel to spell the word joy so that people driving by on the Beltway could see it. Artwin Graphics worked with a local school district to provide take-home worksheets and tests for students that don't have access to laptops or tablets or internet capabilities at home. They worked 19-hour shifts making over 800,000 copies for students to keep up with curriculum requirements. ADS Custom Signs is providing needed support to the essential industries in Harris County. They designed and produced signs for local industries as they sought to make their workplaces safe despite the current threat. CT Church and Burnt Offerings collaborated together to cook and deliver delicious ribs to the bridge over troubled waters. Some of our industry partners have also really stepped up to the plate to help out during the COVID-19 crisis. Conica Foundation sent East Harris County Salvation Army a $5,000 grant. They also set up a special COVID-19 relief fund for their employees to donate and so far have collected $1,000 separately from the initial 5K. The Salvation Army of East Harris County serves our community every single day and continues on this mission to keep all donations in our community. The Salvation Army is working tirelessly to keep their food pantry open to those in need, feeding the homeless, providing meals delivered to homebound seniors, and helping to meet the financial needs of individuals. BASF is making hand sanitizers at its Germany site in an effort to ease the supply constraints. The company has reallocated several metric tons of raw materials for the production of hand sanitizers. Chevron Phillips Chemicals Pasadena Plastics Complex provided lunch to 96 people at the bridge over troubled waters. Not only did CP Chem's donation provide food for the shelter, but it also helped support a local restaurant, Southern Comfort Kitchen, that is limited to carry out and delivery business during the coronavirus crisis. We encourage you all to continue to support our local restaurants by ordering food when you are able to. We've created several graphics on our website that will allow you to view our current member restaurants and how they are able to serve you, as well as a list of local food pantries and major food distributors for your convenience. I know there are so many more stories of love, hope, caring, and giving to share that we may have missed. If you do have a story to share with us, please send it to me at erin at for one of our next episodes.
I would now like to turn it over to Julian Echevarria to talk to you more about our Pasadena community relief effort. But first, please enjoy this word from our sponsors. Thanks, Erin. Hi, everyone. Juliana Chavaria here, Events and Programs Coordinator at your Pasadena Chamber of Commerce, here to give you an overview of our community relief effort that has become a major part of our function at the Pasadena Chamber and a big way we're connecting your community. As you learned in the first episode of Discover Pasadena, Pasadena Cares, our team has launched a community relief operation where we're proactively engaging with retailers, senior living facilities, nonprofit organizations, and more in our community. We built a platform that allows us to connect community needs with available resources while practicing safety and social distancing guidelines provided by the CDC. We launched this effort because we are 100% dedicated to helping match needs and available resources during this difficult time. The effort is for organizations who need supplies, volunteers, or financial assistance, and also for those who are willing and ready to donate supplies, provide financial resources, volunteer, or share any other resources they are able to at this time. Let me tell you how it works. We've set up a page on our website under Chamber Media tab titled COVID-19 Community Relief Effort. If your organization has a need, complete the We Need Help form. That form will prompt you to enter in all the details of your needs. And if you, as an organization, have something to offer or as an individual, complete the I Can Help form. That form will prompt you to check off and enter any resources you're able to provide. Once you complete your form, you will be contacted by me for any additional details needed and to coordinate a pickup or delivery of any supplies or resources to get off your hands or into your hands hands to fulfill the need. We are working with the member of our team to run pickup and deliveries and the chamber is also acting as a drop-off point for resources at this time. To learn more about this initiative or for questions, contact me at julianne at pasadenachamber.org and I'd be happy to chat with you. We encourage you to check out our community relief effort webpage to learn more about how you can serve or how the community can serve you to spread some positivity and light during this time of crisis. We are shaping a stronger future by working together and I hope to connect with you soon. Thank you so much for tuning in to this special episode of Discover Pasadena, Pasadena Cares. If you want to view any of our other resources that we have made available to you, please visit our COVID-19 page on our website. We will be back in another two weeks for another special episode of Discover Pasadena, Pasadena Cares. See you next time.